Hi, I'm Sean, and I want to show you my first add-on for Blender 2.91. It's called Smashing, and hopefully it will make Rigid Body Destruction easier for you. I want to keep this video short, so what I'm going to do is show you a basic use case. In this scene, I've set up a Wrecking Ball Rigid Body Simulation. Um, we want to release it and destroy the animated vase moving across the floor. Well, what happens if I just let it play? Yep, it bounces right off, which is really not what we want. So let's smash it. First, we're going to make sure that our animation range is right. We're just going to use the first 100 frames. Now, click the mesh that you want to destroy, which we'll refer to as the smash sheet. Then shift click the mesh that should do the smashing, the smasher. The smasher just has to overlap the smash at some point in the animation. In this case, I'm going to select an icosphere that I plan on hiding later. So if I go up here, unhide this, shift click, select, and now I've got my smasher. Now we'll select object quick effects smashing. A window comes up which has several options. Shock speed is how fast from the point of impact things will start falling apart. 343 units per second is approximately the speed of sound, if we assume units and meters. It really should just be any high number. The shock duration is how long the shock wave propagates for, after which it stops. The source limit is related to the similar settings and cell fracture determining how complex the break is. Crack gap lets us set how big the space is in between cracks. We want this to be low. If we make it too low, we may get interpenetrations in the simulation, which can cause weird explosions of motion. Now we'll press OK. After some processing time, our animation is back at frame one. Let's see how it did. The first thing we're going to do is hide the actual smasher. We don't need it anymore now that it's done its job. Let me press play. Excellent. All right. So if you'd like to download and try smashing, see the link below in the video's description. Let me know how it worked in the comments, and with your help, I can make this a much better product.